basically everything. We've uh, done how many projects together? You're asking me if I trust you?
defining characteristic. Yeah, then the dog. Yeah, the dog's name the dog. <laughs> actually. Yeah, you probably had your hair to get back. I'm pretty good with paper, so. And you, you were, uh, you had a really janky, uh, vape charger. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I lost the charger. Yes, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. And man, that was a great game, wasn't it? I mean, uh, I think a lot of people were anticipating this matchup between the two big dogs. And if you've been wondering where Butcher has been, he's he's moved uh, further away recently, and he's um, coming up on some big uh, personal positive milestones in his life. So he's that's been taking some time away. But it's always a pleasure when he uh, takes some time to come play with the boys. I uh, really appreciate it, and he's a very very good chess player. And um, always makes these kind of great games so let's go over this game see what we can learn and let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below too and oh yeah for coffee chess patrons log in and watch today's video it's actually a secret chess spot in LA that I think a lot of people don't know about like I only found out about this place like last week so um, tell you guys the give you guys a tour of it tell you guys where it's at so if any of you live around LA and want to check it out I think it'd be a really cool spot to go and play I think it's more beautiful there than playing at the beach to be honest and oh it's it's the the scenery and the background is gorgeous and um, you'll see why it's it's a chess spot I think it's pretty cool so it's kind of like a hidden gem so check that out and if you guys aren't a coffee chess patron you can become one the link is in the video description below get access to a lot of cool stuff like that video other other exclusive games analysis Q and A's and a lot more really help support the channel you can binge watch a lot of stuff man there's a lot of videos there so um, definitely check that out really helps support the channel okay so in this position um, Butcher took the pawn with a knight and then we had bishop takes rook takes rook takes queen takes and mark took the queen but let's go move back here in this position pause the video what would have been a better move for black here and this tactic is pretty deep man you got to look far ahead for this very hard to see this in a blitz game so pause the video and see if you guys are a coffee chess grandmaster man 
Hold on, I can get some water. Okay. Do you guys see the first move? It starts off with rook check first. And since this bishop is guarding this queen, he can't interpose, otherwise the queen drops. So white only has two options here, king g1, king h1. Let's cover both squares. In the event of king h1, do you guys see the follow-up? Pause the video, see if you guys can find it. I think you guys see the first move, right? It starts off with bishop e3 check, king h1, and now this is the killer move. Pause the video find the killer move and I'll give you a hint it's a quiet move it is knight h5 and you're thinking what now do you see it checkmate baby right here Ooh. Go ahead, take my queen. It's just going to be mate on the next move. So what <laughs> what can white do here? White can delay the inevitable, throw in some checks, but he will run out of checks and basically um, sack the queen here so that with check, um, the king can move up, has an escape square, take, take take but we all know how this is going to end so ooh really deep tactic huh very very deep tactic so going back here instead of king g1 let's say king h1 then similar ideas so so let's see if you guys can find it all right starts off with knight takes e4 with the idea of check here and then mate once the king moves over, so it's kind of like reverse of the other tactic, but um, what can white do here? Uh, the computer, you know what the computer recommends, actually? This is what the computer recommends. It shows you how hopeless the position is. Queen d3, which just falls susceptible to the fork, and this will be an easy win for, for black here. So going back here, Maybe one move, one idea is to um, cut off the influence of the rook by by sacking your knight here, but you come in with a check anyway, king h2, rook takes, king takes, and this is going to be nice, watch this. Queen d8 with the idea of coming here with the check, and as white, what you want to do is trade off material on when you're under attack to reduce the pressure. So hypothetically, let's say queen c4 with the idea of coming here to block offer the trade but white will refuse I mean black will refuse offer the trade again but here comes the bishop king up check check and mate wow so that position held some really really rich deep tactics oh man that was very very nice so uh, very nice to learn from and let's go quickly to the end here in this position we had uh, both players, I think, were under time pressure. We had bishop h6 played by Mark, but let's go move back. Pause the video. What would have been another move for black here? All right, starts off with rook c2. The idea of doubling up on this, and if king takes the pawn, it's a very dangerous pawn. Um, just black is going to be up a piece. So going back here, if bishop decides to get out of dodge, then that's dangerous too because... You have this rook check, king up is, is coming into all this stuff here, and you have f5, and if king h4, then checkmate Oof, with the bishop. So going back here, instead of when f5, instead of um, king h4, let's say king steps up, then you can push this pawn, rook over, knight takes with the idea of mate next here. Bishop takes to get an escape square for the king, but rook takes. Um, king back, and knight is coming back here. 
with the idea of checkmate with the pawn. So um, white will create some luft for the king, but takes, takes, and queen. So Whew, yeah, that was another way that um, could have gone at the end. But yeah, very, very nice game between the two. Some very, very deep tactics, especially in this position. Um, I like that killer knight move right here. Oof, very silent but deadly. But very, very hard to see the kind of those kind of tactics in blitz games. But always fun to cover them in analysis so we can all learn from it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys later.